Hi everyone, I am doing a quick screen recording of uh, my initial installation with Amelia Bookings plugin. I just got it on AppSumo. They were or are having a limited lifetime offer and I have tested it before but I think it was a bit overkill for my needs or my clients needs at the time. And um, since the lifetime deal on AppSumo is really a really good one, I can pass it up. So I bought a license and I've installed it on this uh, development server. And let's just see what the initial setup is like. So here we go. Amelia. There won't be anything in the dashboard at the moment. So... Yeah, everything's blank here. And I'm thinking what we'll need to do is go to settings first. Oh, there are quite a lot of settings to go through. Um, okay, let's see. View general settings. This lets you put in the time slot that you'd like. I think 30 minutes is fine. Default appointment status, approved. Um, I always leave this on approved if it's syncing with my Google Calendar. And so it is using um, availability that there actually, you know, that it actually exists. Use service duration for booking a time slot. Yes. Include service Buffer time, yes. Minimum time required before booking. Um, yeah, I'd say 12 hours. And cancellation, let's say 6 hours. Minimum time required, though. Let's leave that period available. Ooh, no, let's just make this about 60 days. Set a phone number, no languages, no set email, definitely show booking slots in client time zone. Yes, let's see. Show out calendar, yes. Default items page. Okay, 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 that all looks good. Save. Company settings. Let's just say Amelia Bookings. Johannesburg, South Africa. And our website is. Okay, save. Notifications. We don't have SMTP set up, so we'll just leave it on this for now. And let's put Charissa Amelia Bookings. Mm -hmm. Let's use this for now. Leave all of this. Okay, save. Working hours, that looks fine. Can we change all at once? So if I want to make this 8.30 to 6, save and apply to all days. Okay, that's quite neat. Uh, if I want to add an interval, so let's say on a Tuesday, Breaks, breaks between 12 and 1. Save. Okay, so it does let you customize uh, your working hours. That's great. Days off. You can add special days off here. Like, for example, I'd want to put my birthday as a day off. And that is, let's say, take those two days, OP 
immediately save payments okay because I'm in Johannesburg and I prefer to use a local payment gateway I would probably integrate WooCommerce which I haven't set up yet um, WooCommerce will let me add PayFast as a payment gateway or Yoko or PayGate or PayStack so I could choose any one of those but for now we'll just leave it on um, PayPal and I'm not going to go through the setup of that you can change your currency that's great so let's say South Africa it's rands and I want ZAR okay perfect let's see integrations this is where I would set up my integration with Google Calendar um, I'm sure there's a guide to getting the client ID in secret. I'm not going to go through that now. Let's just see what this says. To a sync. Okay, there is a video guide if you need to go through that. You will have to register on the Google Developers Console. And I recommend following this guide because that console can be quite overwhelming with the number of options. Let's see this off the calendar, the zoom. So that's great. Facebook and Google Analytics. Okay. Appointment. That's probably see a law booking above maximum no and okay so then I'm assuming the next thing you'd want to do is add employees let's just put myself in Oh, okay. Create WordPress user. No, we're not going to do that now. But if you had a number of people in your team, you could add them here and create a new user ID for them. That will then let them log in to this dashboard. So, let's see, save. And then you would create your services. So that would be your meeting slots, I'd say. So let's just say nine meetings. And I want to add a service. So I'm going to say 30 minutes briefing meeting. going to leave all of this for now save add another service Let's say one hour meeting one hour consultation let's put a buffer in and I'm going to allow up to three people. Pricing, I want to, okay, let's just make it 500. Okay, let's us accept deposit payments, which is great. You can add images, add extras. Um, an extra would be 
say video tutorial and let's see one hour and let's see, add another five hundred for that. Save payments on sites. Okay. Right, save. And we can use me. So I'm the only employee. Locations. Okay, that's if you got a physical location, which we don't have. Customize. Um, right, step by step, event list, event list, booking form. Mm -hmm. Montserrat, save. It's a lot of booking form. Okay, this is quite um, this is quite handy. You can preview each step, and at least it gives you an idea of what each step is going to look like. You can adjust the colors and um, yeah, basic feel look of the form. Let's leave it on step by step form for now. You can customize the labels. Guessing if you want to remove this will alert you. Display field. I don't want to display that. Okay, it's a preview. So they'll choose a service. I'll see the price. So I'll choose a location. You want to bring someone with you? Do you want to add an extra? Choose a day. Okay. Fine. Save all of this. Now, how do we add it to the front page of our site? Let's create a new form and call it bookings. Does Amelia have a block? Yes, it does. That's great. So we want the booking view short code. You can pre select category, pre select employee, fantastic, publish, view page. Okay, this looks good. I'm going to add one of those. Continue. Let's choose a day, a time. Hmm. It's going to Tuesday, 9 to 11. Okay, what time did I put these slots in for? I need to double check that. All right, it's a two hour slot because they chose the extra, which I put a video tutorial. 
So what if the extra you don't want as a time but rather a product or a virtual service? Okay, we'll have to look at that. Confirm. Okay, this works really nicely. Before I go, I want to see if I can change the add-on extra to not take up any time as part of the meeting. So, let's see here. Where is the add-on? Okay, the buffer could have definitely just been from because I put in a 30 minute, 30 minutes. If I don't put in a buffer, how do I disable buffer? Okay, delete. No, price multiply by number of people, no. Extras. Don't want it to be mandatory. Don't want a time. Great, okay, I don't have to put in a time. That's fantastic. Save. in here. Save my information or it is because I'm logged in. Okay.